you call me up and I'm trying to help you sleep, okay? So, don't worry. I'm going to make sure you get a really good night's sleep. And I'm sorry that I can't be with you right now, but it's okay because I'll be with you soon. So, fact number one, did you know that some cars, especially Teslas, have a setting so that if you need to leave your dog in there, it protects your dog? How cool is that? Okay, so it's like, there's a setting so that if it's hot and your dog's in there, it will put the temperature on and there's like a specific mode for it. I think that is so cool because you see so many people who just leave their dogs in the car in the heat and you see so many like horrible, horrible stories that come from it where dogs are dehydrated or dogs sadly, you know, pass away and that kind of stuff and even though I personally would never leave my dog in the car unattended, it's nice to know now that if in an emergency or like your dog's traveling with you and you need to run and like fill the car up with gas or petrol or something at least you know you can leave it in the car safely and the car will be basically looking after your dog home <laughs> I think that's so cool everyone needs a car that looks after the dog yeah <laughs> did you also know a really cute fact however it also made me sad because it made me think so let's say penguin one proposes to penguin two they're spending forever like years with each other i'm not actually sure how long penguins live but let's say they're spending ages and ages like years with each other right and then one day penguin two just doesn't show up Imagine how devastated Penguin 1 would be. I honestly think that Penguin 1, I like, it just made me really think like they really, really stick together for life after proposing. What if one day one, I mean it happens right, one day one of them just isn't there anymore. I think that is heartbreaking, honestly. That makes me really sad. Did you know that in South Korea there's a Valentine's Day for single people? Yeah, so I mean that wouldn't matter for us because we're in a relationship us two. But so February 14th is traditional in South Korea as Valentine's Day but it's men giving gifts to the women, okay? Or you know, men giving gifts to men, etc., you know, and then on March the 14th, it's the other way around, and the woman gives the person the gift, so the woman might give the man a gift, or the female a gift, or, you know, they, them, etc., so on February 14th, the male presents the gift, March 14th, the female presents the gift, and then on April 14th, it's single day, yeah, and they eat a special dish, which I can't pronounce, but yeah, it's a special dish, and it's just, you wear, like, whatever you want to wear, and you eat this one, like, noodle dish, and yeah, that is, that is that, <laughs> it's pretty cool, if you ask me, I think it's pretty cool, but yeah, that's cute, uh, so, if you ever feel alone on April 14th, don't worry, because now that is single Valentine's Day, so you'll never feel alone again. <laughs> I love that. I think it's adorable. <laughs> okay, I think we've discussed this one before, but did you know that cows have best friends? Yeah, that's right. Cows have best friends. So imagine them in their field with all the daisies and all the nice green grass. 
So, 
friend or a boyfriend. <laughs> 